If you look at automotive history, say from the 1960s onwards, ever so often there comes a car that so summarily moves the game forward that others have no choice but to follow suit. I think of the original Mini that revolutionised how small front-wheel drive cars were packaged. Or the Lamborghini Miura, which started as a two-finger salute to Enzo Ferrari and kicked off a supercar arms race that's still ongoing today. I recall watching in awe VHS clips of Ayrton Senna in his loafers, heeling and towing in the Honda NSX, bringing supercar glamour within reach of the average person, especially in Asia. Just look what the Renault Espace did for the MPV class, the BMW X5 for SUVs, or the much maligned Toyota Prius for the petrol electric hybrid generation. All cars that created and defined now well-established vehicle classes. In 1975, Volkswagen launched the Mark I Golf GTI. Not the first hot hatch by any means, but definitely one that cemented the hot hatch as an automotive class in its own right. And five years later, Audi introduced the Quattro with all-wheel drive. And those two roads converge in the car we're in today, which is neither a Volkswagen nor an Audi. This is the 2021 Mercedes A45S AMG. And it's important that we start the channel off with this particular Hottas and Hatches, because this car has not just moved the goalposts or what a hot hatch should be, it's blown the goalposts up completely. You might have heard a little of AMG's history already. How they started off modifying Mercedes cars and did such a good job of it that eventually they were acquired by Mercedes themselves. And now they're the in-house division that sprinkles the chili powder on vanilla Merz. Granted, that may be oversimplifying it a little, but needs must in a 10 minute video. This A45S though is a bona fide AMG with a one man, one engine ethos proudly emblazoned on the engine cover. The exterior of this car is very in keeping with the current trends in sports car design, which are of course, the sportier the car, the angrier it looks. And this does look pretty angry, with the distinctive Pan Americana grille, widened front wheel fenders, and even canards next to the gaping air intakes on the front bumper. It looks ready for a fight. Now the interior is very impressive, but you already knew that from the 100 other A45S videos you've been watching until you stumble across this one. Ambient lighting and aircon vents certainly look the part, although the vents might pose a challenge to anyone trying to attach a phone mount to them. But you know, you really shouldn't need to these days because the Mercedes comes with seamless smartphone integration, both with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I've never really been a fan of the stick on a couple of iPads on the dashboard look that seems to be de rigueur with so many manufacturers these days. I guess it's just something that we, ha we all have to learn to live with. But the one thing that does bother me in this interior is the steering wheel. There are just too many buttons on the damn thing. I mean, do you really need so many buttons at your disposal when you're on the move? And in this car particularly, there's a good chance that you'll be going pretty damn fast, fast enough not to bother with many of these buttons. 
except for these three. Mercedes has handily placed the drive mode select and a couple of configurable buttons on the steering wheel. And this is good because I certainly don't want to be reaching over to the center console and fiddling around with it when my eyes should be glued firmly on the road ahead of me. It's not perfect. Some of the icons are a little bit small for people with bad eyesight like myself, but it's a good first attempt. Anyway, once you're on the move and you start to focus on the drive, you won't be worrying too much about any of these buttons. So let's go for a drive, shall we? So 
there you have it. Benchmark set way high. Too high for anyone else to reach? Well, we're already hearing of a competitor from Wolfsburg that's bringing his A game to the mark and at a lower price point too. Ah yes, the price. The Mercedes retails for a cool 300,000 here in Singapore. That's 160,000 pounds, 225,000 US dollars, and about 186,000 euros. Now that's a lot of money for a hot hatch. And if I'm having to pay that much for this car, here's my main gripe. It's here, the rear. It just doesn't look quite right to me. Well, yes, it's clean, it's functional, etc., etc. But given what this car is, and given how it looks from the front, and given that this is the most common sight that many drivers will be seeing disappearing quickly into the distance, this looks like a little bit of an afterthought to me. Dare I say it? It looks like the designers ran out of ideas by the time they reached the rear of the car. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. It'll have to be quick though. That's it for now. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.